your Locked On Capitals, your daily podcast on the Washington Capitals, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. But just to get it going here, talking about Sam Reinhart. Wow. If you want to talk about going out and trying to get, I'm going to go ahead and say the biggest fish probably on July 1st. That is it. And it's summer. It's May. And I'm not afraid of dreaming. I would love nothing more right now uh, than to be able to come to you guys in the near distant future, probably around July 1st or so, and say the Capitals did something crazy. They acquired Sam Reinhardt. How much of an absolute game changer could that be for the Capitals? Any team, but for the Capitals, they would be next level, right out of the gate. We've seen, and if you watch any of the postseason hockey, you see how clutch he is for the Panthers. Uh, as of July 1st, Sam Reinhart will be 28 years old and holds the position, we know of right wing, uh, with a salary cap hit of 6.5 mil. Reinhardt has enjoyed a remarkable season achieving an impressive 57 goals and 37 assists, resulting in a total of 94 points. Again, let's underline that a little bit. How much better would the Capitals be with a 57-goal score? (sighs) Amazing. I could only... It's a dream. It's a fever dream at this point. This exceptional performance has captured the attention of Florida Panthers who are eager to secure him to a long commitment to the team. Again, I understand it's not going to be easy, but Brian McClellan is going to have to get his creative pencil out and figure out a way to try and get this done. Panthers GM Bill Zito commended Reinhardt's achievements, expressing pride and happiness for his outstanding year. Zito acknowledged Reinhardt's exceptional achievement of 50 goals In a season, a milestone accomplished by only around 100 players in NHL history. He also emphasized Reinhardt's focus on winning and highlighting his contract negotiations may take time. The Panthers are committed to finding the right contract for both Reinhardt and the team. There's one thing I know for sure, for sure, is regardless of what team he goes to, he is going to be getting a substantial Raise And I know the first thing Capitals fans are going to say that there's not enough cap room to accommodate a player like this. Oh, yes, I under do. I do understand. I do understand that a lot of players would have to get moved out to facilitate something like that. I understand that. But how how eager are you as Capitals fans to make this team better in the fall? I understand everything that I've seen. I've read from insiders that the Capitals are going to have to be patient. We're going to have to wait for McMichael and Lop here to grow in into really great NHL players. But until then, we'll have to be patient. Nonsense, I say. I say, Mac, go out there. Swing for the fences. We saw what you did. Uh, acquiring Darcy Kemper, which, you know, now doesn't seem like a big deal, but at the time, him coming off off a Stanley Cup win was a big deal. Let's try and pursue a player like Sam Reinhart or not like Sam Reinhart. How about going after Sam Reinhart himself? Despite Reinhart being one of 13 ping free agents on the Panthers, uh, he has expressed a strong desire to continue his tenure with the team. Of course, we always hear that. Uh, he's playing on a team that's in Stanley Cup contention. I would be most surprised, unless you're a player like Evander Kane, that you're going to come out and say, yeah, my team sucks and I want out. That's just not the way things go. Negotiations for his contract extension are currently ongoing, with both parties demonstrating a commitment to reaching an agreement. Reinhardt's primary focus remains on the ongoing playoffs, and he aspires to secure a long-term contract with the team. I'm going to go ahead and say it. There is only two players that I can think of on the team that I wouldn't want to move uh, to bring in a player like that. And I'm going to go ahead and say that's Alex Ovechkin and Tom Wilson and maybe John Carlson. Anything else other than that, move it out. To get a player uh, like Reinhardt in here, I I don't know if Capitals fans realize it. It would be an absolute game changer. The Panthers possess the flexibility to retain key players, provided that core members are willing to accept slightly reduced salaries aligning with an internal cap structure. This would involve Reinhardt accepting a a contract less lucrative than those of higher earning players such as Alexander Barkov and Matthew Kachuk, despite 
the potential for a bidding war if Reinhardt were to enter the open market. He has unequivocally expressed his his desire to remain with the Panthers. Again, of course he's going to say that. But I, again, I just can't get over, uh, you know, the thought of a 50 plus goal scorer playing on the Capitals. Uh, The possibility is just it boggles my mind. In conclusion, despite the complexities of contract negotiations and impending free agencies, Reinhardt and the Panthers are both committed to securing a mutually beneficial agreement. Their shared focus remains on ongoing playoffs, reaffirming their dedication to achieving success both on and off the ice. So what is, you know, some of the things that I know from following hockey for a long time is that once you add Stanley Cup winner to your resume, your value gets exponentially larger. So if he can tack on that he won the Stanley Cup in 2024, uh, I think that all of a sudden his asking price is going to go way up. And I know that he is saying right now, while he's under contract with the Panthers, that he wants to stay here. He's a businessman at the end of the day. And there is the possibility that he could be on the move why not consider a move to Washington to play with the likes of Alex Ovechkin and Tom Wilson and John Carlson, those kind of players. I think that, you know, the, the, the capitals are still a great destination to go to. And I think that oftentimes as capitals fans, we don't think we can have nice things, but it is definitely possible uh, that it could happen again. If these things are not easy is GM Brian McClellan, the guy to get a deal like this done that I'm not sure. I was talking to someone on YouTube about this that I don't know necessarily if GM Brian McClellan is the guy to take this team to the next phase. I know that he took a promotion last summer and I don't see him going anywhere, but I wouldn't be opposed to that. I just, you know, I think in order to facilitate something like this, you have to have uh, you have to have a, a, a good ability to be able to position things and finagle things that I don't necessarily know if Mac has in his tool set. I'd like to think he does. And something like this could really redeem himself in the face of a lot of Capitals fans to go out and get a player like Sam Reinhardt or Brandon Montour or any other player that I'm going to talk about in, in the upcoming weeks here that could change. And I know that the script for the Capitals is, you know, no major rebuild till Ovechkin is here. I want to fast track this team and this team would be markedly better with a player like Sam Reinhardt. Capitals fans, let's not be afraid to dream. Uh, I know I'm going to hear comments. I can already see them being typed on YouTube and and Twitter right now. Dan, there's no chance it's going to happen. It can happen. And I'm not afraid to believe.